And now we're going to make the gingerbread using Young Living Einkorn Flour in Vitality Essential Oils. So let's begin by adding the einkorn flour. Charlotte, this is two cups of einkorn flour. Good job. Emily, this, uh, Melissa, excuse me, my twins. Uh, salt, please. This is a half a teaspoon of salt. There you go, good job. Shake it up. Emily. Let's put in the bake, are you baking soda? Okay. Yes. That is one teaspoon of baking soda. Grab it on the edge and then shake it. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and mix this up. We have more wet ingredients this time than we do dry. Let's add the honey and molasses mixture. That's a quarter cup of each, honey and molasses. Move it down closer. There you go, good job. That's good. That's good, there you go. I can smell it. Does it smell good? Yes. Okay, Melissa, <clears throat> let's put in the brown sugar. So that's a half cup packed brown sugar. Of course, you can use any sweetener that you want. Let's grab the egg. <laughs> Two eggs. <laughs> Good job. Let's add the butter. How much butter is it? This is half a cup of butter. Okay, let's add the milk. This is buttermilk. This is a cup of buttermilk. You don't like butter on your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One teaspoon of vanilla. There you go, good job, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna actually put our flavorings in. Normally I would say when cooking with essential oils to add them at the end after the heat, but this time we're baking, so you have to put it in ahead of time, unfortunately. We'll still get the flavor, but not necessarily all of the benefits from the essential oils. All right, let's look at our essential oils. What do we have there first, Charlotte? First in line. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Ooh, let me have no. I will do this, okay? We don't want too much in, or it may not taste really good. It might be very spicy. Okay. So one drop. <laughs> if it will come out, one drop. Mars, I can't see. Well, okay. So we're going to use the new one. And there it is. And yes, that was two accidental. Okay, what's this one? Can you read that? Clove. Clove. A very hot oil to touch. Like ginger? Clove is worse. What about cinnamon? Is that That's hot. Just a little bit, one drop. What's next? Ginger. Can you say that? Good job. The interesting about, thing about ginger is you need just a little bit. It is so concentrated. Just like 
all these oils that we're putting in. Yes. A little bit goes a long way, right? Yeah. And of course, cinnamon bark. Mmm. You put it in our oatmeal. Yes. All right. Let's put this in. Put our shield on. And we'll mix this until it's smooth. <laughs> so girls, can you tell me what you noticed the difference of the two batters the are? Color. The color. Which one is darker? The one we're making now. Yes, because it's a whole wheat flour. can barely see it. We, we, we will do. See that? Mm -hmm. That's the color. Yeah. So this is the other one. Are you going to put it in now? Yes. Give that to Daddy. Sprayed it? Mm -hmm. I've already sprayed it, yes. Mm -hmm. why do you Just have to making sure. Why do you have to spray it? So it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. We want it to come out nice and golden brown. Mm -hmm. And have nice slices, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This will go by fast. Are you going to eat all? Yeah. Whoa. Can you share it? Yeah! Yeah, we will share it. Well, Mama. tomorrow we are going Mama, to... So this is the difference. This one here, first one is the one with the einkorn flour. And the other one, you can't really see the difference on the phone, but this one is definitely, einkorn is definitely darker. Yes. So okay. once again, we'll put these in a preheated oven at 350 because there's honey in this. It will darken quicker and it will cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. Thank you very much for joining us.